My today's topic is electrical and electronics. As we know in both the cases, there is a flow of current. Then how we can differentiate the two? We know very well that in case of electricals is the main function to generate the electric power and then to distribute that power amongst the lines and distribution of power with greater efficiency at the specific sites. So in case of electrical, it is the generation of power and then distribution. Moreover, electrical devices we use at home also like fan, bulb and uh, like that the others. Now in case the electronics on the other hand, it is the electron mechanics. There is a motion of electrons in different media. And uh, moreover, electronics always looks the advancements. In case of uh, electronics, it uh, deals with observing the flow of electrons. But that flow of electron mean current, it is it always remains under control. Like in case of transistor, you know very well, there is a meter, there is a collector, current flow from a meter to collector, but it is controlled by the base. Also in case of FET, the current flow in a channel, but that current is controlled by the gate. Electronics and uh, electronic circuits, electronic and electronic circuits depend heavily on the devices like gates and the switches. Gates are always based on some logics. So electronics is a logical science. If we say that we are having some electronic device, we are giving the input and uh, we are getting the output. Output always relates to input. Output always relates to input by some function. That function is always a log logical function. There always remains a logic between the input and the output. Now, if in between input and output, we are using the magnetic component, then that system is called electromagnetic. If between input and output, we are using the mechanical components, then it is called electromechanical. Now, in case of electronics, we can use the analog signal and the digital signals. And then, now it is electronics to depend upon the integrated circuits that the ICs. So there are three type of ICs, ASIC, FPGA and microprocessor. With the use of microprocessor, now electronics is now relating with the software. So we can say the software development, it comes under the electronics. In the case of ICs, there are two major families, fixed IC and flexible IC. The fixed IC are called ASIC, mean application specific IC. In this type of IC, they are once manufactured, they cannot be altered, mean changed. The relation between input and output becomes fixed in this type of ICs. Now the second type of IC, they are called flexible ICs. In flexible IC, they are again two type, configurable ICs and programmable ICs. Configurable ICs are called CPLD, PLD and FPGA. Configurable ICs can be configured many times, many times, so there is no problem. So we to remember that uh, electronic is utilizing electricity. Electronics depend upon electricity as electronic devices work when we apply the DC voltages. DC voltages, DC batteries come under electrical devices. So electronics is, uh, electronics depends upon 
electrical and they are correlated but we have to remember electronics is always some logical electronics is logical it is based upon logics it is controlled can be controlled on the other hand electricity is mean the development generation of electric power and its distribution thank you very much for your patience for hearing thank you so nice of you